New developments on a story we first told you about on Eyewitness News at noon. A disturbing discovery inside a New Bedford home. Firefighters were called to this house on Round Street this morning. After they put out the flames, they found a body on the same floor. Eyewitness News reporter Marilyn Scherer is there now live for the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. Investigators from the DA's office have been combing through debris all day. They're labeling this fire suspicious, and now they're also asking the public for help. New Bedford fire officials, along with the state fire marshal, are investigating the cause of a fire at 55 Round Street that broke out at 826 Tuesday morning. Fire officials tell Eyewitness News there was a vehicle parked in the driveway when they arrived, so they began searching the two-story home, looking for anyone who could be trapped inside. Firefighters found the body of a man on the second floor, which is where the fire started, according to the chief. Neighbors were concerned. Yeah. Well, it's scary to see anybody because the wind's blowing and it could come over here, so I don't know, you know, too much about it, really. Right, but the idea with the wind like this? Yeah, that's what's made me scared, just because the wind blowing, it could have, if it, the flames come out of the, you know, out of the house, then I would have been um, scared of more. Yellow police tape seals off the area since several agencies are now involved in a crime investigation. We don't know how the fire was started from, you know, what the news is saying. The dead body, we don't know why the body was found dead, whether it was murdered, burned, or smoke inhalation, etc., etc. So, well, that does scare you. Now, officials tell us they're not publicly identifying the body yet, nor are they labeling how the person died. They're also asking the public for any help if they saw anything at the single family home, either overnight or early this morning, to please call New Bedford Police. Reporting live with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shera, Eyewitness News.